I could say the hype is very real. You want to know why? Because we have confirmation. It is confirmed, people. On June 22nd, 2018, we will get Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The latest entry in the beloved Jurassic Park series. Ugh, those movies are awesome. Growing up, I was a major Jurassic Park fan. The first one is one of my favorite movies of all time. Second one, it has its weird moments. Like, how can a girl knock a velociraptor out of a running building with gymnastics? I might have to ask Steven Spielberg about that. Or who? Or whoever wrote the whoever wrote the script for the film. Anyway, and then Jurassic Park Three is so stupid. Like, how do you, these people? I don't get how low. Oh, sorry, I sorry, I'm a bit tired. I had woken up a bit earlier. Anyway. Paul Kirby. Amanda Kirby. You guys are freaking idiots. If you were looking for a guide, why not Ian Malcolm? He had been on Isla Sorna. Alan Grant was on Isla Nublar. And then we got... And then there's the beloved Jurassic World, which is actually one of my favorite movies of 2015. If not the best. Wait, it can't be the it's tied with the it's tied with the Force Awakens. Which is one of my favorite Star Wars movies. And I am so excited because this one we we have no clue we do have somewhat of a clue as to what will be happening. There's rumors that a volcano may be erupting on Isla Nublar, so we know we're going back to Isla Nublar. And we are, have confirmed that one of the most iconic characters has been confirmed to be in the game. The iconic character known as Dr. Ian Malcolm. So we might get that annoying laugh again. Like, Ian, your laugh is so stupid. Which makes me wonder, will this be actually pretty good? Some people are saying it's probably going to be similar to the Lost World Jurassic Park. You know, trying to get dinosaurs off the island. The problem there is that dinosaurs are really hard to get. And also very, very dangerous. <clears throat> if you haven't seen the Lost World, basically... I'll sum it up for you. There is this guy named Peter Ludlow, who, had, who is the nephew of John Hammond, the founder of Jurassic Park, and has taken over InGen from Mr. Hammond. Now, this is important here, so keep this in mind. They go to Isla Sorna, Site B, and then what happens? They try to take the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs back to a place in San Diego. Problem. By doing that, it causes a lot of death. Some of the engine hunters fall victim to the fucking velociraptors. And also the fact that Peter Ludlow was a money hungry son of a bitch. And also, he is told, he meets a grim end with a buck rex, and the infant T-Rex. And Jurassic World was interesting, because, I don't know if this is canon, but I'm pretty sure it is, but there has been clues that there could, that, they may, Dr. Wu may have been working on hybridization for a while before Jurassic World. 
Maybe even by the time... It all winds up back to the freaking Spinosaurus. And we do know Dr. Will will be in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Hopefully the son bitch meets his, gr meets his gruesome end. So what are my thoughts so far on the information we have about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Well, I'm honestly looking forward to the movie. This is one of my favorite franchises, film franchises of all time. Oops, sorry. And Jurassic Park is something that I really grew up on, because as a kid... I mean, a lot of people can relate to this. As a, as a kid, a lot of people love dinosaurs. Especially the science behind them. Jurassic Park is amazing. It's an amazing franchise that I... Honestly, when I heard about Jurassic World, I was like, I want to see this. And then... In fact, as a kid, it was my dream... <laughs> Well, one of my ideas for my dream was to be, that would have been a dream come true for me, would, be like, work on a Jurassic Park film. Lucy, really? Sorry. So, it looks like we may be winding up getting a bit of confirmation. There are a lot of questions about the Spinosaurus, especially with revelations after Jurassic Park 3 came out. See, fans who grew up watching Jurassic Park 3 love the Spinosaurus, but people who watched the first one before Jurassic Park 3 love the T-Rex. The Spinosaurus is honestly boring to me. Honestly, and I'm pretty sure that's what, what that one's a hybrid. You want to know why? Here's evidence. One, they normally walk on four legs, not two. Two, they aren't as aggressive as the Spinosaurus was in the movie. And three, it wouldn't fucking kill a T-Rex. The T-Rex would kill it. Then again, one of the people who worked on that movie hates T hates the T Rex. So, so honestly, I'm gonna close this out by saying Jurassic Park is going to be one of the greatest films. Dra wait. This Dra new Jurassic Park film, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, is likely going to be very, very good. I have my expectations high, and they better match up to it, otherwise I'll be very disappointed. And hopefully it doesn't put the... If it does disappoint, hopefully it doesn't put the franchise into a slumber for 14 years. <clears throat> Jurassic Park 3. So, that's going to be all for this. What do you guys think in the comments down below? What is your favorite and what is your ideas on Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? That's all from me, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.